We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Dodgers. So stepping in Jonathan VR and we are set for baseball here this evening. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Ah, and he subtracts there beautifully as this pitch is swung on and missed for the game's first down. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Corey Dickerson. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. 1-1. One, one. No, too low. Two out, nobody on. Line towards center field. Peterson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Plate Justin Turner. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. Pitch on the way. Ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Here's Corey Seeger head to head with Jose Urena. He's gone two for five. And it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. At the plate, Mookie Betts. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here's the one and two delivery. Ball, no. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Ramirez moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. And their runners at the corners now. Right three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. So it's first and third with two away, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. Here's the 2 1. No. 3 1. Swing and a line drive right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Second inning set to go, and up next will be the power hitting first baseman, Big Jesus Aguilar. Oh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So one away here with the bases empty, and up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. The 1 1. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Alfaro in front, three balls and a strike. Hard on the ground towards short. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Ready now for the Marlins. Harold Ramirez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. 3-2 pitch. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Riding in, Jock Peterson, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Now at the plate, Will Smith. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now with the plate, Zach McKinstry is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And that one got a piece of him. So a runner at first with two away. And that left-handed pitcher who bats right, Alex Wood, will hit next. Now the one-and-one one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. McKinstry is off of first with two away. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson. Here's the one and two delivery. Fouled away. And that misses two and two. This is line to left. And the Marlins had their first hit of the game. Monte. So now to the plate, Monte Harrison. Count remains two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. That misses. So a single and a walk, and it's first and second with nobody out. Got it, got it. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Jose okay. Arena. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now a bunt attempt here. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Digging in to try it again, Jonathan Villar. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. The ball in two strikes. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. A 1-1. He's in there for strike number two. Grounded to third. A tag for one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Bottom of the third now. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Justin Turner. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Harrison is under it to make the play on the first down. Here's Corey Seager, one for one after a single this first time up. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Now back, left fielder, Mookie. Into the box, Mookie Betts. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Runners on first with one down. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Another full count pitch home. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Now and next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Slap hard the opposite way. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Standing in now, Max Muncy. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Count still at one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Peterson. Fouled off. The set and the one two. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch, though. Popped him up. Aguilar has room in foul territory. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. In now, Corey Dickerson hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. The next one two pitch. Line drive to center field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Next for the Marlins, the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. Down and four. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. On the ground to third. Turner has it. There's one on the first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings, and there are two away now. Striding into the box, Jorge Alfaro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 3 2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping up to the plate, Will Smith looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that's the first out. Now, back. now at the plate, Zach McKinstry. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Right side, hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. Now that the pitcher, Alex. At the plate now, Alex Wood. 
And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. To second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, one, two. Hops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. And VR will look this one in to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Harold Ramirez. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. This is foul right side. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Brian Anderson will be next. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Bellinger's under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Standing in, Brian Anderson. A base hit in his first trip. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Ball. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. I like what he was trying to do there with the two-seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to command. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. And it's fouled away. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. This is line to left. Uh, this will hang up just long enough to be run down in shallow left for a tough second out. So that'll bring in Monty Harrison next. He bats here as the reigning rookie of the month in the National League. Harrison. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Josh Rader will come on now as he'll be appearing in his 45th game this year. Now at the plate, Corey Seager. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fouled away. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Coming to the plate now, Max Muncy. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. No runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Runner, runner, runner. Bellinger's off and running. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because 
they don't want to walk the guy. Meanwhile, now this is hit well down that right field line and gone for a home run. At the plate, Jock Peterson fouled off. Another full count pitch home. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Once again a 3-2. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Dickerson. He can't get there so the inning will continue. Now batting the catcher. So now to the plate, Will Smith. Breaking ball called just a bit low. And the count will be full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Slow little grounder left side. He's got it. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Garrett Cooper will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 25, Garrett Cooper. Takes this the other way to right. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan VR. It was a walk in his last trip. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hit out towards second. And that's the second out. Digging in, Miguel Rojas. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Muncie will put this one away, and the side is retired. Brandon Kinsler is on his way into the ball game now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Zach McKinstry. Here now the 2-2 down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. In now, Alex Wood tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Kinsler has over 40 innings on his line so far and has a rather inflated ERA, one that won't come down easily. And he pulls this one back in time, two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. Seager. 
That's lifted the other way out to left. Dickerson's after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Corey Dickerson. Last time through was a base hit. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The one two. Shoots this one over to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. Now battle, the first base. Aguilar. Standing in now, Jesus Aguilar. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with the one and two. And he fouls this one off. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Ross Stripnock enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Jorge Alfaro will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. A ball and two strikes now. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. At the plate, Harold Ramirez. He flew out in his last at bat. The one one home. Misses above the zone for a ball. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Two balls and two strikes now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bellinger is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. For the traditional Adam Conley will come on now and make his 55th appearance of the year. Number 61. Adam. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Here it comes on one and one. Grounded to first. And there's one away. So here's Cody Bellinger. He's working on a one for two game so far. Bases are empty, one man out. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next up is Max Muncy. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. The bouncer to the left side. Scooped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Pedro Baez will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 52. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. 
You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Fouled away. Another 1-2 delivery. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. To the Stepping into the box, Monte Monte. Harrison. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. No. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Peterson on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Yimmy Garcia is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 1-1. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's the one and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Now batting. Digging in, Zach McKinstry. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. A 1 1 is taken for ball two. All even now, two and two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Fouled off. A swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. Dylan Floro comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jonathan Villar. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Three and two, full count. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batting. Now batting, Miguel Rojas. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Slap hard the opposite way. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. So digging in now, Corey Dickerson. He's two for three and looking for more here. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Squared that one up just a little late. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is looked at and the count moves full. Pulled toward right center field. Peterson giving chase. 
He gets there, and that's the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. From the belt, the pitch takes this the other way to right. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now, Jorge Alfaro. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Miami down to their last strike. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out. And the Dodgers have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Los Angeles Dodgers seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Alex Wood earns his fifth winner of the year. Dylan Floro earns the save out of the bullpen his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Marlins, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 29 minutes.